Anybody home? It's Connor! It's Connor! Ah! What's up, YouTube? It's going on, Corey Kitchen, and welcome. Go ahead and say it, y'all. Y'all go ahead and say what we coming back to. Are you familiar with Schrodinger's cat? Until you decide what happens, everything is happening at once. Like in Detroit. Listen here, you robotic Scarlett Johansson. Speak up again! Guys, y'all are really out here on this series. I see so many comments every day. I can't wait for tomorrow's episode. Y'all are making me so happy right now. Likes been out of control. Like, I see y'all balling. I do got a little bit of bad news, though. Uh, this episode will be shorter, okay? I got to drive all the way to Chicago for Memorial Day to hang out with my family and everything, so I don't have time right now. I did just want to leave y'all a little something just so I could tide you over until I get back tomorrow. The man has not discovered something he will die for. Last time in Detroit. Uh, pressure. 28 stab wounds. 28! The android. Who's the android? Sucker, I called the police! This is Marcus? You a human now. Hey, she gets that much respect for me. This time. Hey. Our boy Connor. Dang it, I missed the date. I was so busy looking at his eyes. Find Amanda. Who the freak is that? Uh, okay, let's keep moving. Also, while we trying to find Amanda, y'all know how every time I play as Connor, somehow I managed to get him killed? Well, you guys said I didn't have to redo it because Connor, like, because he's an android, they can, like, load his memory into just a new Connor. So it's not, I don't have to redo the Connor parts. And there's a trophy if you kill Connor in every episode, but we ain't trying to do that. We're trying to keep our boy alive. Hello, Amanda. Hey, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. I like them braids, yeah? Who else Congratulations, died? Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. Well, you know. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Hey, our Thank relationship you, is going up with her. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. All right. The interrogation seemed challenging. Oh, it what was. What did you think of the deviant? Uh, he's traumatized. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. 100%. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? Oh, uh, he's, uh, intriguing. I think he's irritable and socially challenged. <laughs> Nicely putting it. I also think it. he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. I like him, all what right? What do you think is the best approach? Uh, friendly, adapt. We'll adapt to him. I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I what? avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. She didn't like that. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. Dang, for real? If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Who is she? Is she like... Hurry, girl? Connor. There's little time. <sighs> what was that? What was that? Look for Lieutenant Anderson. AKA that boy Hank. Y'all do not know how cool it feels to see Detroit, Michigan in a video game. This ring! 
keep getting nervous about it. Can I help you? It's okay. I'm here to see Lieutenant okay, Anderson. Do you have authorization? Bro, yes. She's an android? Now let's connect real quick here. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Hey, y'all know where Hank live at? Where Hank is? Oh, snap. Look at all this stuff he can pick up. Uh, let's read. Uh, Wilson. What's this one? Anderson. And you come with me. Okay. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Great. Dude was getting lit last night. Guess we'll just have to wait for him. He got that much clout, he just come in whenever he wants? Not getting fired? Like... Hi, honey. You okay? Uh, I guess we stand up. What did we do? Examine his desk. Explore the police station. Let's look at the desk. Okay, we got a lot to look at here. Anti-Android sticker. Uh, Detroit basketball cap. Detroit basketball, then it should have been the Pistons then. Let me see. Unless it wasn't talking about the NBA matches. Okay. Jimmy's Bar. I'm guessing he frequents that place a lot. Donuts, of course. Can't be a police station without donuts. Uh coffee cup wait traces of what oh caffeine okay uh, what's this one Japanese maple man got love taste love flavor I appreciate it uh, some hair canine he has a dog what's this one Detroit police dismantle and network of red ice dealers more than 50 arrests okay Detroit's finest Detective Hank Anderson, a young but hugely talented detective, is said to have been instrumental in the operation, which took months of planning. So, basically, this dude Hank used to be a beast. What's this one? Oh, snap. That's an old picture of him from 2027. This was like 10 years ago. He was a decorated officer. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! They always gotta have a freaking corny cop captain. Hey, in my office now! Enter and listen in. What's good, Mike Duncan? I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults, and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just CyberLife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. Agreed. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. <laughs> I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Oh Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these androids, and you let me hold in the bag. CyberLife sent over this android to help with the investigation. Right. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. Kind no f***ing way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prank. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police <laughs> lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say, and shut your... Damn mouth. You know what my damn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. Oh. This conversation is over. <sighs> Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you why? doing this to me? Why? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitching. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me. I've got work to do. 
Dang. Uh, you get a hernia? What the freak was that? I'm very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my very Close best. Close the door on your way out. Bruh. Well. Cue ball. Have a nice day, Captain. Yeah. Have a nice day. That's why your head looked like the eight ball off a pool table. All right. Since we can check on Hank, I'm going to walk around first. I'm going to give this man some time to cool off. He obviously hates androids. Famous Detroit painter dies. <gasps> no! Carl! We was there. We know what happened. Freaking Leo, bro. You gonna get yours, Leo. Let's go into the break room. What's happening, y'all? Look at that. Our friend, the plastic detective, is back in town. Why y'all hate Congratulations on last night. Very impressive. Uh, let's just introduce myself. Hello, my name is Connor. Never seen an android like you before. What model are you? Can you read? It's on my shirt. RK-800. I'm a prototype. A prototype? Android detective. Yeah. So a machine's gonna... Replace us all. Is that it? Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. Uh, no. Get a move on! That ain't happening. I gave you an order. I'm sorry, but I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh! Get wrecked! Oh. <laughs> Get wrecked! Seriously? When a human gives you an order, you obey. Got it? Stay out of my way. Next time, you won't get off so easy. Bruh. I... He just mashed me! No one masses me! You ever got masked? You know when people like stick their head and they didn't mask Several you? sources report that oh. CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no one was available to answer our questions. Public opinion went down? What? Man, I feel like I'm just playing this game wrong at every turn. Gosh. Do it in there. What's good? What? 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 What you trying to do? What you looking at, boy? Hey, you. This game really gives you the feeling of just being hated. I mean, not a friendly person in this place listen I know you don't like me but we're going to have to work together we'll both have to make an effort uh, now that we're partners it would be great to get to know each other better no and that's not the time dude oh my gosh dude there's something locked what did I not do is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. All right, then I don't then I guess. Let's talk about a dog. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? You really need the forensics. The dog hairs on your chair. Right. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? I like dogs. What's it to you? Alright. Sumo. Hey. I call him Sumo. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? <sighs> yeah. Too long. I'm gonna kill him too long. Uh, hours? I was wondering. Do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. 
Stop busting my balls, okay? All right. This is a disappearance. Victim is Gordon Lopez. Plaintiff reports that he left his Android at home when he went to work. When he returned, the Android was nowhere to be found. This was an attack, Charles Bell. Plaintiff claims to have been attacked by an AV-500. <gasps> Aggression. Victim Todd Williams. Oh, snap, it's Kara! The plaintiff claims he was violently attacked by his domestic Android. I never hit him! The Android just returned from being repaired. That's Kara. Attempted murder. Leo. They're talking about Marcus. Famous painter Carl was found dead following an altercation between his android and son. Bro, Leo lied. Oh my god. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit. Y'all know where this is going, right? Connor is going to be assigned to take down Kara and Marcus. Detroit and quickly spread across the country. Oh my gosh. An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Kara, they're talking about Kara. What? Dude, what, what is your problem? I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them, and- Hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? All right, all right, all right. Determined, resigned, initiate, threatened, uh, I suggest you sort out your personal issues and let me work with someone more competent. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. Or things are gonna get nasty. I Lieutenant, thought it meant uh, I was gonna sorry resign to disturb mission. you. I have some information on the AX400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Bro, I'm like destined to pick the wrong things in this game. They just hate all of us. They hate all of us. All right, we probably got time for one more. I'm cutting it close. We gotta hurry. All right. Don't worry. Tomorrow I'm gonna hook y'all up with a long one. All right. We go back to normal tomorrow. It's our baby, oh, it's our baby. <sighs> Alex, I mean Alex, Alice and Kara. We haven't done anything wrong as Kara. Wait, wait, what'd that say? Revive the fire. All we've done is protect this girl. And now Connor's about to come in. And Connor, he don't play around. You notice she's like an AX800 model. She's 400. Dude is mad advanced. Okay, uh, what do I, what do I need to do now? Where's the matches at? Uh, what's this? First Android Zoo? Oh my gosh. Canada still Android free zone. <laughs> Canada like no thanks. We we good on all that Android. We we good. Can't blame them. People freaking getting murdered and junk, but it's like a two way street. Like people are abusing their Androids and junk, and then like they they getting triggered. So it's like Ralph still in here. Ralph, where you at, bruh? What's this? Uh, that's Ralph Farm, Urban Farm. Of course, the RA9 stuff everywhere. Uh, Bird Watch Money. That's not our money. 
but we can turn this bird on though. Oh, it's a real bird? Oh. <laughs> I thought it was one of the Android ones. We're gonna leave that. It's like eight bucks there. It's not really enough for anything. Rolf? Are you here? Can I have that money that you that you got? Can we go upstairs? No? Wait. Change appearance. We need to find some clothes. We need to find some freaking clothes. My baby Alice down there sleeping, so we're gonna leave her alone. Uh new thing in here. A little wardrobe. Yes. I I guess I guess it's okay for me to take this. I think. Hey. It's a little baggy. Kind of draws attention, actually. We found some human clothes. Cut hair. I gotta cut my hair? Oh, I like that little ponytail. Yep. We got to. Incognito. But wait. Wouldn't it be good to not cut your hair so you can use it to cover the little blinking sensor thing? I mean, Marcus just took his out. I mean, I don't know if everybody can do that. See? You just made it really short now. Now they can really see it. Accessing hair colors? Let me see that white real quick. Oh, that's sick! Yo, we sticking with it. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, take that out. Look, they all know that they can take that off! Bro, the android is taking over, bro. Bro, she looked totally different. Alice about to wake up like... Sucker, who is you? Oh, I gotta admit. I'm liking his hairstyle, you know, it's something about girls for short hair. Oh! Ralph. Ralph that lost it. Ralph that lost it. We gotta get, we gotta leave. Alright. That's all for now. Uh, what the freak was on his hat? got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well let me know if they turn anything up. Oh no. What are you gonna do with that? I have no idea. Oh no. It took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. They're looking for Kara. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. Okay. So there's a oh, real well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Oh. Dang, you kind of being so smart! Good thing we didn't rob that store last night. Ralph found this to feed the little girl. Thanks, Ralph. <laughs> it's good for her. Yeah. A okay. present. Go in the kitchen and skin. Make up for past misunderstandings. <laughs> Ralph will cook. We will do just like humans do. Okay. Humans okay. like burnt meat. <laughs> Come. Come and sit down. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? What's happening? That's very kind of you, Ralph. But we have to go. Go. Oh, he didn't like that. <laughs> no, you, you will go once the little girl is eaten. Uh, we will eat together, just like a family. You know, the father, the mother, and the little girl. <laughs> we gotta leave, Ralph. I can't stay here. Ralph, let me leave. No, Ralph. We're leaving now. Come on, Alice. Are you 
you serious? The little girl's going nowhere. Whoa. Uh. You're not going to hurt her, are you? We're friends. Remember? No, Ralph doesn't want to hurt the little girl. Let's go. Let's go. He just wants her to eat. Then go in the kitchen and cook. That's all. We gotta leave. The detective is here. We can't stay here. It's a body upstairs. We gotta go. Okay. We'll eat together. Like a family. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> oh, Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. It wouldn't be polite for her to refuse, would it? <laughs> we never should have ate here. We never should have slept here. <laughs> Succulent, you'll see. Succulent. Succulent. <laughs> oh, God. Do something! Mother, mother, little girl. Please, Clara. I don't want to eat that. What did she say? Oh my gosh. Lie to him! She said she can't wait to eat it. She's very hungry. The little human is not going to regret it. <laughs> Ralph found the best, the biggest one he could find. <laughs> this is going to be succulent. Succulent! <laughs> oh, we gotta get out of here! Go ahead. Eat. Bro, you didn't even. Cook. What kind of cooking was that? No seasoning? Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Eat. Uh. I saw the body upstairs. You killed that human, didn't you? No. Yes, you did. No, he was like that when Ralph found him. No, you lying, bro. You killed that man, Ralph. There's no point in lying. You hate humans, but you're just like them. You're a murderer. Ralph didn't mean any harm. Yeah, put the knife down, boy. Carl, grab the knife. No. It's just that... Ralph can't control his anger. I can his anger comes. Ralph doesn't know what he's doing. He, he becomes stupid. For hatred. Ralph is sorry. We, we should have slept in a car. He just wanted to be your friend. Then let us go. Anybody home? It's Connor! It's Connor! Ah! There's blue blood on the fence. Oh I know God. another android was here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Guys, you're gonna hate me. You're gonna hate me. I gotta leave. I have to stop now. Oh my God. I'm about to be so late. Oh my God. I can't stop here. I can't. Okay, okay, okay. Investigate the trail. We already know who's in here. Android inside the house. Yep, we know exactly who's in this house. What? What? Okay, um, model WR600 Gardner reported missing. Burn mark? That's what that is. I thought it was a freaking skirt mark. Ah, LED. Probably of self destruction moderate. Find the source of Android stress. Uh,. 
He's building up. He's building up. I'm getting too close. I'm getting too close. Are there any other androids here? Other androids? Bro, look at his stress. No. Ralph is alone. He doesn't want me to go there. He doesn't want me to go over there. Don't be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt you. Hey, doing my little coin thing. Androids don't need heat. <laughs> Look at him. Just deconstructing its entire situation just by looking at it. I'm looking for an AX400. Have you seen it? Ralph's seen nobody. There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Ralph scratched himself coming through. That's Ralph's blood. Okay. So. Connor, what the hell are you doing in there? Coming, Lieutenant! Alright, I guess we're going upstairs. I, I, I did everything I could. Is anyone upstairs? No. Nobody. Android is telling the truth. Huh? Connor, the f are you doing? Did you find something? No. No, it's not here. Yeah, just like I said in the first place. Come on, let's get out of here. That almost gave me a heart attack. This mission had probably the longest tree I've ever seen. So many things could have happened there. Oh my gosh. But everything is good. The only thing that I regret is we didn't take the money off of that counter. Because I don't... I, maybe he wouldn't have cared about that. I don't know. But the most important thing is we escaped from Connor. I can't believe... I'm saying this. I, I, I would need Connor to fail this mission. But alright, you guys, we'll pick it up tomorrow. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you be sure to subscribe to the Samurai, slice that like button. Subscribe today to join the Samurai. Until next time, my brothers and sisters. Because my name is Gary Kenton. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>